Well, as many here in Colorado know, the climbing community is a tight-knit one. Many climbers bound by their endless pursuit of freedom. Yeah, tonight, Michael Abeta shows us how that bond helped one Coloradan create an underground climbing community in the Middle East. Here in Colorado, we're well aware that being outdoors can give you a sense of freedom. But across the globe, there are people who are using one of Colorado's favorite activities to help deal with the struggles of their everyday life. What makes life really worth living? It's not just thinking about politics all the time. In 2014, Timothy Bruns was living in Jordan with a friend. He wanted to continue rock climbing in the Middle East, but there was a problem. There were not climbers in the West Bank before uh, Will and I moved there. So they decided to start a climbing club interest grew fast. I think in the three years that I lived there, we had over 4,000 people join rock climbing trips. I wanted to go connect with my heritage. It was that burgeoning community that caught the eye of Palestinian American Andrew Bisharat. The climber himself, he connected with the Palestinian climbing community to learn about his culture. They're both part of a new movie which explores the struggles Palestinians face on a daily basis through the lives of Palestinian climbers. Having to travel on segregated roads, dealing with um, military checkpoints and settlements that can be dangerous to Palestinians. If you uh, have an Israeli license, you can drive through a settlement and walk five minutes to get to the climbing area. But for Palestinians, so they park outside the settlement and it's an hour long hike. Last week, a group of my friends were out trying to climb and they were attacked by the army. And how we all have a lot more in common than we may think. The things that I love about climbing, like here in the Flatirons, are the same things that um, people love about climbing in Palestine. To feel freedom, to be free. The story is going to tell a story about Palestine, about Palestinians that you don't see in the U.S. media landscape, and one that really needs to be shown, you know, a, a human story. That film is premiering in Boulder on Saturday, March 4th. Tickets for the evening show are sold out, but there are still plenty available for the daytime matinee. In Boulder, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.